wait, little kitty. Messing with such an intelligent creature can be risky. Why? Let me answer that by posing an interesting question. What if a giant octopus attacked you? Zoom in! Imagine yourself diving in the crystal clear waters of the coast of a tropical paradise and suddenly you notice a massive shadow gliding silently beneath you. Your heart skips a beat as you realize what it is. A giant Pacific octopus. With three hearts, nine brains and eight powerful arms, octopuses are renowned for their intelligence, camouflage abilities and unique physiology. The giant Pacific octopus in particular is the largest of its kind with an average length of 16 feet. Though some individuals can grow up to 30 feet long. Most octopuses stay along the ocean floor, surviving primarily on shrimps and fish. Although they have been known to attack and eat sharks as well, humans are thankfully not on their menu and they are usually friendly towards us. However, let's consider what might happen if an octopus felt threatened by your presence and acted defensively. In most cases, the octopus's first line of defense is to create a smoke screen of inky fluid. This dark cloud confuses predators, giving the octopus a chance to escape. For a diver, this inky expulsion can be disorienting, obscuring vision and creating a sense of panic. However, like any animal, the octopus can be unpredictable and might attack a person. If that happens and the octopus approaches, you might be struck by its sheer size and the mesmerizing movement of its arms. Each arm is lined with powerful suckers that can latch on to prey or any unvaried diver. If one of those arms were to wrap around you, it could create a dangerous situation. These suckers are notoriously difficult to remove once they are locked onto something. And if they were to grip your diving gear, it could be disastrous. A mask torn away by a strong sucker could leave you struggling to see and breathe underwater. After this, it might use its sharp beak located under its body to bite and inject venom into the target. While the venom of the giant Pacific octopus is not fatal to humans, it could cause significant pain and swelling. Fortunately, the primary goal of the octopus in this situation is not to eat you but to defend itself and create an opportunity to escape. So, after delivering a bite, the octopus will typically try to flee. However, any wild animal can cause immense harm. So, the key to avoiding such an encounter is to respect the octopus's territory as most negative interactions occur when humans invade their personal space. So, in the rare event that you do find yourself in a close encounter with a giant Pacific octopus, remain calm. Avoid sudden movements that might be perceived as a threat. If an arm wraps around you, gently push it away. Trying to yank it off will only make the octopus tighten its grip. Signal for help if you are diving with a buddy and slowly back away to give the octopus space to retreat. Remember that despite their size and potential for harm, these creatures are more interested in avoiding conflict than engaging in it. They are intelligent, curious and often quite playful when they feel safe. So, let's give respect to get respect. Trivia time! 
Did you know Australia's blue-ringed octopus is considered one of the world's most venomous marine animals? Yes, despite its small size, it carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Denzil. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.